Welcome back to Against the Storm, where we have to deliver 40 amber to the crown. Right. Choose a blueprint. Guild house. Oh, what is this? Okay, so place where villagers can fulfill their need for luxury. Passive FX, guild house, uh, the guild's welfare. Okay. Well, I don't, I've never made one. So this is a clan house, a clan hall, and there's a guild house. There's a separate building. Those are service buildings, which are for something a bit different than production buildings. Um, 40 Amber, get rich. <laughs> ah, yes. So this is, this is how many Amber we've got. So that means basically selling stuff to get the amber well one of the things I can think of selling right away would be these ancient tablets I can sell two of them get 16 we have a whole ton of mushrooms we can sell some of those we have a ton of berries we can sell some of those um, we're doing pretty okay for plant fiber and I'd say, hmm, hmm, even resin, we're, we don't really need all that resin. Okay, so I need like five more, right? So, oh, we're doing pretty good for clay. Oh, look, there we go. We just crossed 40. Uh, but I don't need 40, I just need 39. Oh, shit. No. It doesn't work that way. I can only buy as much as she's selling. Oh. All right, never mind. Scratch all this stuff. Because it's, it's just... I mean, even just the berries. Um, okay, wait, wait, wait. 20. So it's going to cost me 20 amber to buy 16 amber. I still hate that. Um, we'll just do one of these and some of these. There we go. 20. Yes. All right. So now I've got 17 out of the 40 amber that I need, yeah. but that's all that she's willing to sell me. That's all she's got. So I have to get the amber in other ways, which means I have to go raiding glades. Um... Oh, there's another obelisk. Weird. Small encampment. I might be able to do the small encampment and then... Yeah, I think, I think with these events, I can just let them go back to the crown. And um, that... Won't that give me some amber? Small abandoned cache. Yes, please. Wait. Small abandoned cache is over here, so... All I have to do is move... This camp... Over there. Just get rid of those. I should be able to get some amber from the small abandoned cache. Harvester's camp. Where's my harvester's camp? Stonecutter's camp. Oh, duh. Alright, so there's the stonecutter's camp. Let's move this to, I guess, right here. And the harvester's camp, which is... Oh, it's, yeah, um, duh. Right, let's move you over here. Great. Town is looking pretty good, actually. Um, Clan Hall Service Building. If I put three people in it, I can get 
The ancient lizard clans are excellent survivalists. They have mastered hunting and foraging like no others. All camps produce a 100% greater yield. Really? This bonus does not affect woodcutter's camps. Oh. Still. Let's put some lizards in. And honestly, if we... I, I'm a little... Well, I'm, I'm quite rusty on the whole uh, service building thing. But training with training gear and incense, we can fulfill these needs as well. If we make those things. Newcomers! Um, well, there's one more on this side, but uh, I'd like the amber, thanks. That's 22. Well, I suppose I should look into um, incense and what? Training gear? Which I can't make. But I can make incense. So the smokehouse, which we don't have yet, I can put one up. Hang on. There we go, smokehouse. Some planks and fabric. That then we'll let that get built. Alright, and then we'll put some people in it. Um they might as well make jerky and incense. Great. Um we'll put that as a higher priority and we'll move jerky up to level of thirty. And um uh, yeah, that's great. What has happened? Oh, the glade. Yes. All right. Oh, look. Look, look, look. We got brood mother. Brood. Brood. Slick shell brood mother. Small. Um, so we can. We can get the amber. And get 10 amber. By doing this. We'll spend three tools. And we'll get a reputation as well, which is great. Investigate. And I might as well put a trapper's camp in this one while I'm thinking about it. Lady deposit. Sea marrow. Small band in cash. Small encampment. Wandering merchant shaman. Really? Probably bring the um, woodcutter's camp over here and then break into that glade because that's got another abandoned cache. All right, have we made any incense yet? Yes, we have. So if I say Recipes, incense equals religion services. Um, this is quite an effect, honestly. Doubling the yield of camps. Man. Consumables. There's the, there goes the incense. So we're bringing in the incense. Okay, so I got 15 incense coming to the clan hall. Um, so how does that work exactly? Do we have... Oh, look at this. So the humans are starting to get affected by it. As are the reli religion... Um, the lizards. Beavers don't care. They're atheists, I guess. Um... So yeah, so that's going to bring the happiness up for, so that's how that works. If I was really paying attention, I would focus on, you know, really getting these 
these perks, or not perks, but these these needs of theirs fulfilled as much as I can. But uh, I have a feeling that's not going to be necessary in this particular game. Oh yeah, let's put some lizards in here. Oh, here comes the storm again. Gosh, we're already on the sixth year. Finishing up the sixth year. Oh wait, 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 wait. So we have a small encampment here. Aha, uh -huh. check this out. So for the price of for the for the price of four eggs, um, I can send a couple of beavers in here. You know, no, no, bring me a different beaver. That's not on a coffee break. There you go. Um, we're going to pick send to the citadel and get ten amber. How about that? And that'll that'll pop us over forty. Excellent. This game seems to be the kind that probably gets easier the more you get used to it, you know? Like, you play it and you play it and you get used to what, you know, the flow of it, the needs, the recipes and stuff like that. Just takes a little bit of time to uh, grow accustomed to it. So we're going to deliver the amber, there's 42. We're going to deliver 40, which makes us poor again. And what do you know? Um, okay, so it's it wants us to make a guild house and need for luxury fulfilled 30. Wow. Um, oh, 30 times, not 30 at the same time. Oh, good. <laughs> um, and this last one here is Beaver Resolve. So keep Beaver Resolve above 25 for two minutes. And then once that's done, we're done. I wonder how fast we can do that. So guild house. Hang on. Orders. Um, anything else I need to do? Like picking anything? No, that's fine. So. Guild house. Ho! Oh, 40 planks. And four fabric. It's a three by three. No, it's not. It's a three by four. Holy cow. So we're going to put it here. Extend the paths there and there. And probably also in front of it. And then we have to get the 40 planks, which we do have, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's 96. And the fabric, that's plenty of planks and fabric, so that's what we're going to make. Um, so luxury, luxury, wine is luxury. So we have to focus on wine production. Wine is made in the distillery. And the distillery will make wine from berries or mushrooms or reeds. Uh, reed wine, yum. And pottery. And we need lots of it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bump it up to forty in production. And yeah, make all that wine. Now, pottery comes from the bricks, or the clay rather, makes the pottery. And that's important because we're going to want a bunch of that. So, higher priority to make the pottery. Oh, they're making crystallized dew though, eh? Um, so that means we probably have pottery. Hang on. Yeah, we have 20. So that means immediately the distillery will be able to start making wine. Oh yeah, look, 24 is in production already. And as soon as this guild house goes up, yep, yeah, yeah, there's the guild house. And Zorg has arrived, and we have a cornerstone. 
which is either Crowded Caravan, each newcomer group has two additional villagers, or Secure Trail, Royal Star Markers secure the trail for your settlement newcomers will arrive 25% quicker. I don't know. Um, this this is like long-term thinking, but I've only, I'm really close to the end of this settlement, so let's pick this one. Um, I think I think I did I do that right? So thirty needed for luxury fulfilled thirty times. Also, we need to get the beaver resolve up. Ugh. Well, you know one one really good way to do that is probably to make more beaver houses. Um, let's just take a peek at beaver resolve. So the forest hostility is, is affecting them. We could we could take the forest hostility down. Maybe, or we could, um, they like luxury, good, because we're getting ready to make luxury. We're going to put, um, we'll just staff this with humans. And that will give us the guild's welfare. According to custom, a small part of the amber that goes through each guild should be repaid to support the locals, gain plus one to global resolve every time you sell goods worth 75 amber well screw that i'm not happy that's not happening most believe we acted i will add it retroactively that's interesting seem okay right also guild house service building effect now that the guild has a presence in your settlement, merchants are more eager to present their wares. Traders will arrive 50% quicker. Okay then. But mainly it's the luxury. We have to get the luxury up. Available, 35. Affected, zero. So we have 15 beavers that we could be giving luxury to. Education, nothing. Biscuits, can I make biscuits? Probably not. No. Can I make um, well, beaver housing? Affected. Oh, well, we need to make four more beaver houses. So let's get that started right now. Four more beaver houses shouldn't be too hard, right? So. Just go here, one, two, three, four. And we'll make a path. Um, there, I guess. And also they like, they like leisure, but we don't have a tavern or a monastery or a forum. They like clothing. I can make clothing, right? Can I make clothing? No, I can't make clothing. Well, that's unfortunate. Basic housing, clothing, so... I can't do that, I can't do that, I can't do that, and I can't do that. Well, this is going to be tough. It's going to be based on leisure and pickled goods which I should make sure I have enough of in the granary. Uh, let's bring that limit up to 30. Just making sure. Pickled goods, unaffected zero. So yeah, they're eating them. They're eating them. So it's really the beaver houses and the luxury. Well, let's, let's see how well that works. This is absolutely a beaver structure. Look at that thing. Um, no perks that will help me. Plantation. I can get a plantation for 19 amber. Mixed berry and plant fiber. I don't really need that though. No, I, I don't see anything that will help me in my final goals. Herbalist's camp has no deposits. Move to um, here, I guess. 
All right, beaver. Oh, hey, the beaver resolve. Look at this. My beavers are happy. So available, affected 15. All 15 beavers are partaking in the luxury. And most of the, no, no, no. 10 of the 15 are partaking in the luxury and all 15 have pickled goods in their bellies. Um, everybody's in a beaver house. And yeah, the beavers are quite happy. So we just have a minute and a half for them to be like that. Wow, 30. 31. That's a lot of resolve. I mean, I only needed to get them up to um, 25. Newcomers are waiting. All right, well, we might as well get more beavers. Well, no, no. Does it bring the average down? I'm not sure. But well, it's not going to really matter. He'll just, at this point, it doesn't matter. 30 seconds left on the clock. Uh, I do have un uh, I, I do have homeless people for some reason though. Oh, I must have opened a glade. All right, so we have another um, abandoned cache. Um, let's grab this. We'll put uh, put a couple of humans on this and pick the Santa Citadel. That will get us pretty far that might actually push us over so we got yeah that's gonna get us to 11 which means that we're almost done we're almost done we're very close just another 10 seconds on that beaver resolve that's done so now we can turn that in here and we don't have to turn the luxury thing in to be honest um, because all I need is this. Not sure which will be done first, because this is almost done as well. Oh, just one more. Ah, oh, there it is. That's the end. All right. Well, that was it. Deliver. And the settlement is complete. I'm not sure if the tutorial taught me the things it intended to teach me, but it was an interesting exercise. Um, we got some experience points and some rewards. Back to world map. But uh, at least I've ticked to this box, hostility and trade. Um, yeah, you yeah, know, I'm, I've, I'm not really good at managing the high levels of hostility and, and, and the more experienced or more difficult skill levels. But for now, I'd say that that pretty much wraps up this tutorial. So. Uh, that's it for this episode as well. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.